The clock is running out for Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to form a coalition. Netanyahu is stuck between capitulating to Israel Beitenu's Avigdor Lieberman and ultra-Orthodox members of Knesset over conflicting demands regarding the Haredi enlistment bill. And in a dramatic turn of events, the Knesset, which was only assembled merely four weeks ago, will vote today at 4 p.m. whether or not to disperse itself. Blue and white, the largest party in the opposition, does not want this to happen. Why? Because it wants a chance to do what Netanyahu can't, pull together a coalition. Meanwhile, Netanyahu is doing all he can to solve this crisis before Wednesday night's deadline. On Sunday night, Netanyahu said another election is the last thing the country needs. אני עושה עכשיו מאמץ אחרון להקים ממשלת ימין ולמנוע בחירות מיותרות. אני הנחתי בפני השותפים הצעה לפתרון. הוא מבוסס על העקרונות שהצבא קבע, הנתונים שהצבא קבע. אין שום סיבה לדחות את זה. But would new elections be such a bad thing for Netanyahu? Well, not according to a poll run by Israeli Daily Ma'ariv, which found that the right-wing bloc would only gain more votes if a new election were to be called. But would elections be such a bad thing for Netanyahu? Well, not according to a poll run by Israeli Daily Ma'ariv, which found that the right-wing bloc would only gain more votes if new elections were to be called. As for Viktor Lieberman, it's safe to say he's exploring all his options. After refusing to budge on the Haredi enlistment bill that passed in the last Knesset, he is even considering a run with former New Right co-leader Ayelet Shaked. Lieberman told Israel's public broadcasting radio network Khan that he thinks the two of them together could win as many as 10 seats in a new election, though Shaked is denying the report.